Hi guys, so I am so sorry. I know it's Friday. I should be doing Freeform Friday. It is not gonna happen today. Uh, just finishing up some things and errands and Miranda had a dental appointment. That's always a whole thing because she had a little tooth that isn't falling out on its own and the new tooth is already there. <laughs> it was actually the first tooth that um, loosened up for her. And then since then she's lost three, but that one just hangs in there and the new one's already there. So I was like, we gotta go take the, you know, get this taken care of. And so today was the day and that is not fun for her. She does not like going to the dentist, especially you know, something like that. So it's just been kind of a long day. But um, I do have some things in from HSN. Actually, a couple of things are from Craft Day. Some other things I think are auto ship. So I'll have links in the description box if you are interested in any of those things. Uh, there will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So tomorrow I will have some fun things for you guys. Um, starting off with uh, one of my subscribers here uh, told me that scrapbook.com now has this. So um, and she had asked if I already made a video on it. I was like, no, I haven't because it was sold out anyhow. And usually what happens when it sells out on Tonic, I wait for Scrapbook to get it and I usually make the video then that way um, I know I'll have a lot of people like oh I didn't get it you know so <laughs> it is available I'll have the link for you guys right now it's $19.99 on Scrapbook just like it was on Tonic's site the difference between this one and like the cheaper one that you might find on Craft Stash is that this one has the bonus die so I already unboxed this for you guys but the bonus die is basically I put it all together didn't I yeah is this guy so whatever you see in the cover that's great but this is the extra one and it's a big boy and it comes you know with the kit so um oh i will have a link for that for you guys um swap so tomorrow uh, or today ends the sign up for the swap i have been getting uh, emails even today um to sign up so hopefully if you guys are still interested by the end of the day please sign up but i do want to uh, well, actually, I don't need to do that. I'll make a video tomorrow showing everyone's name that I have because I think I've responded to everybody. I try to do it in a timely manner. Um, and that means sending the guidelines and then, you know, kind of the mailing info and how to pay for your postage and all that. Um, I just want to show you real quick. I've finished that up with those papers I printed out. And then you look at the grid paper or the dotted paper. And then look at this little guy. Remember I showed you guys if you wanted to make like an accordion and this is why I didn't close it up otherwise I would have closed it up like this you know this would have been the accordion but I wanted to leave it open so you can slide it in and out so that's why I made its own pocket cool huh so cute um anyway and then I have another book back there it's been working out I have all my little info there and then I just need to finish up I just need to put a velcro on this I don't know why I haven't done it yet but that's the <laughs> other piece that goes in here and I have my little bookmark for it too so I'll put that to the side and let's get to the things that we need to get to here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So a lot of these things, I'm like, oh, I should use this for, you know, Freeform Friday. But the day has just gone away from me and it's not going to happen. But these had sold out the first time. I don't know how I didn't get them or maybe I lagged. I thought, oh, I'll just get them tomorrow. I don't know. But it's the Anna Griffin um, Slimline embossing folders. And I was really interested in these. Um, so... I do have like maybe four or five other things coming. Uh, the things I ordered myself that are diamond press, which would be a couple of the items I didn't get for review this time around, um, are, on are on extended delivery along with a couple of the Anna Griffin things. I think the um, envelope dies. So those, I don't know when they'll come, so I'm not going to be showing them. Obviously, they're not even shipped when everything else I ordered on the craft day is shipped. So we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, I've just been really looking forward to these. I love embossing folders you know if I remember to use them but especially like this I didn't realize these open like this huh we'll see I kind of would have preferred if they open the long way uh, just because the paper might stick out so this one like the paper has to be exactly this size right but that's okay so pretty so I'm very much looking forward to using these and let's see what's here oh yes 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 I don't know if this was new and I honestly didn't even realize I had ordered these. I was like, travel? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Anna Griffin Vintage Travel Card Toppers. Let's open this up. Ah. Oh, I love the packaging. You know, I like her boxes. I mean, she does say that these are, these are made to be temporary. They're not permanent solutions. But, like, I don't crush them or anything. They're all lined up right there. They look pretty together, so I don't see how or why they're not more of a permanent solution, but I guess she, what she's trying to say is I don't think this is going to keep it forever, but they do. So anyhow, uh, vintage travel card toppers, 106 embellishments, 24 card layers, 24 sentiments, 24 bows. Oh, I didn't realize it was this. Honestly, I must've just seen it. I don't know what I was thinking. And I was like, yes, without really reading it. So it does have little decoupage, like, um, 
uh, dimensional adhesive. We have these cool things like happy birthday, may your next trip around the sun begin, bon voyage. So it's not really just travel related. I do remember seeing that. Um, have smile. What? <laughs> Is that? Okay. No wonder. Like that doesn't make any sense. Have smile, will travel. Cool. And then all oh, the bows are such pretty colors. Oh, look at these, you guys. Love it. I love the little boarding pass or whatever. I mean, this is so pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love the like, classic look of this. Look at that. And look at these. My goodness. Oh, yeah. I did not realize, like, this is... Let's check these guys out. And they are double-sided, of course. You know, I was going to say the back side is plain, but now it has a print to it, too. That's the green one there. I see some foil or something somewhere, but maybe I'm tripping. No, oh, yeah, it's lower. <laughs> Look at this one. What? Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. If I had known these were this cool, I would have got two. I don't know if they're sold out now. I might have to grab another pack. See the back of that? Just pink. And then this is the foil. On the back of the foil. Oh, <laughs> no. I hope there's more because I need to grab another set. Oh, my gosh. This is so pretty, you guys. And then this one has... Oh, I love it. I, I, you know, I something about it, I grabbed it, but I didn't realize I'd pay too much attention. This is really cool. And now I have to put it back in here all crazy, but... Um... Okay. Very cool. I'm really excited about this one. I know you guys said you kind of sat this one out for uh, craft day. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, <laughs> I was going to rip this. Uh, one of my friends here, Tracy, she says, oh, you know what? You may want to just open it nicely because uh, they're really nice and sturdy envelopes. And I usually, that's what I usually do. I do reuse them anyway, just so you know, even when I rip them off like that, because um, a lot of times when I send something in the mail, I might have to fold it over anyway. So I still reuse them. So don't worry. It's just that I ripped it. It doesn't mean... <laughs> I don't reuse it, but it does look nicer if you just tear it like or cut it like that. Oh, this is the Crafter's Companion. I think this might be the only Crafter's Companion thing I picked up. There might be one other thing. I'm not sure. Um, the daisy frames, because I really wanted the cut-in dies, but then I was like, you know, I have the other cut-in dies, the ones with the words. Haven't used them yet. Am I really going to put acetate on every card and then glue it on the back? And, you know, you know how it is when you glue acetate. You're like, eh, maybe it shows. Maybe it's ugly. Maybe it's, you know, maybe we can use vellum. That might be pretty, too. But either way, I was just kind of like, you know what? Let me try the other ones before I even think about those, even though they were uh, on sale and they had an auto ship, you know. Um, but I did pick these up. So I think it was called. Let me see if it's on the receipt. That's not the receipt. <laughs> and this one is uh, floral frames CC die and stamp set so I do like this kind of thing because it's quick and easy and pretty so I picked these guys up it says the 5 by 7 by 5 by 7 is the largest die this one's square this one's 5 by 8 by 3.8 5.8 by 3.8 hmm I guess you still pop that into a 5 by 7 because that's bigger than five and a half you know in the other direction ha huh. well we will see all right there's those I did get some auto ship things in, and then I have a big box here. Oh, you know what that big box is? It's the um, Anna Griffin with Sympathy set. And I picked that up. Not so much that I have to send out a lot of with Sympathy cards, which is good. <laughs> um, because everything in there was so pretty, and it's a slimline deal, so we have to check that out. This is the, um, oh, this is the other thing I thought. Okay, maybe I'll do Freeform Friday with this, but again, tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have a few different videos for you. Um, I will have the video of the finalizing of the uh, swap. Um, I think we have 40, let me see, 42, 45 people so far. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, and then I already have some coming in, so that's great. Uh, really cool. And just so you guys know, and I I like to email people when it gets in just so that they know that it's here. I don't open them and I don't try to look through them. I might, I usually just snip it to make sure, like, it's not damaged, you know, on the inside. This is how I usually do my swaps. So if I don't say, like, oh, and it's beautiful or don't feel like, you know, I'm just like, oh, your swap's in. <laughs> it's because I don't open it up completely. I just, because uh, I want that surprise to be in the reveal video, you know. So uh, don't feel bad if I just tell you it's in and nothing else you know <laughs> hopefully that's all i say instead of like oh and it got damaged you know we don't want to hear that right we just want to know it's in and it's safe and that's it um okay 
So this is the uh, Pirouette Auto Ship. So really cute, very reminiscent of the first one, uh, but you can mix and match, mi yeah, mix and match, mix and match the stamps with the first set. And I think this is actually really sweet because the other one I think it needed more um, leaves, didn't it? I feel like that's what we need. So this is cool. I love this. I love that Amy has little stems. If you line it up just right, you can stamp that together and some cute stuff here. The little die. So that's the LDRS Auto Ship. So I will definitely play with that very soon, if not this weekend, hopefully this weekend. But I am going to get to that card making, okay? So for sure that tonic set. Um, this is another auto ship, and then I'll open the Anna Griffin Sympathy set. And then I have things that are going to be due or coming in tomorrow. So I'm like, I didn't want to hold this video till tomorrow because I want to check in with you guys and say hi. Um, oh, oh, awesome. I didn't really know which one this was for. You know, they had all those different messages and hidden messages and like happy mail hidden message. <laughs> and so whenever it says anything about hidden message, I'm like, which one is it? Like, I don't really know which one uh, is coming. But again, it comes with your pockets. Um, this is the hidden message kit that goes with um, the little like aperture basically. So really cute little doily uh, circle, which you can use for other things. Um, it has a little turn signal. Oh, look at the bananas. I see a banana, maybe a peach or something, and then a little tag. And then we have like slices and strawberries and something else. So let's see what this is about. I do not remember this at all. So I, either I didn't see it or I overlooked it or just forgot. <laughs> How cute is this? Even not using it in the way with the aperture and all that, I mean, you can use these on anything. How cute. Yeah, a little peach. And let's see the examples. <laughs> so sweet. So this is just, yeah, you know, you do your simple little aperture, which is like second nature to me now. And then just add on your little decorations. Like you can put anything on here, you know? So cute. Oh, speaking of Diamond Press, so some of the things that they had brought that HSM was going to hold till later, and I gave you guys links for anyway, for um, the animal treat bag, the little goodie bag, and the wreath, uh, sold out. The animal treat bag, the, the wreath had like three left, supposedly, it said this morning, but usually when it says three are in stock, it doesn't let you buy it because it's actually out of stock. So, um, that is a bummer, so I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with that, if they're going to bring more in for later in the month, or if it's just gone and that's it. I do not know. Um, I know I get a lot of questions about that. People ask me about their stock or things. I, I don't I don't know that part of anything. I just, I just review the things. <laughs> I don't really know a lot of uh, the ins and outs, you know. But, um, so I was kind of surprised that I did have to hold some things back, but then they sold out anyway. So, um, like I said, I won't know. Um... I guess you could email Diamond Press themselves, but I have a feeling that's the stock they brought. I don't see why it would change. Okay, Anna Griffin, Sending Sympathy Card Making Kit. Pretty, pretty, look at this. I'm like, slimline, yes, box, I love it. <laughs> I love all of her things that come in a box like this. So, holding you in my heart, keeping you in my thoughts, with deepest sympathy, wrapping you in prayer, you know, just such beautiful... Uh, cards. I used to, I, I mean, look at this. Look at the background. Love every memory. Hold on to hope. Wait, love every memory. Hold on to hope. Take time to grieve. Forever remembered, always loved, and then thinking of you. So, you know, thinking of you is always a good sentiment there to have. And look at the little pieces here. Uh, sending hope and comfort. I mean, I just, I, I just really like this set. Uh, this one, that's the same one we read earlier. Yeah, so anyway, I mean, tons and tons of sentiments here. Um, I mean, just look at the, the colorway on this. Like, it's soft, it's pinky, peachy, little lilac. Just like, looks like watercolor. It's just a different style. Um, I mean, it's very Anna Griffin, but the style is more, I don't know, it's just a little bit different, right, than what we don't really see. The look of it, I guess, is what, I don't know. And the ferns, oh. Love it. Love it. And then this is just some kind of little something I guess we add here and there. That's kind of cool. It has like different shape. You can just add it on the card front and then dress it up however you like. Let's take a look at this. I know, I guess we'll do unboxings today. <laughs> a few things here. So they just wind in the back. They have the foil, foil. Just beautiful. Oh, some kind of uh, German, maybe, on there. So pretty. 
yeah, and then just, you know, you layer it up, put some other fun, beautiful things on there. Really like this. Oh, and what else did I give hers? The, um, the shutter auto ship, right? The shutter card auto ship. Not the dies, because I already have the dies, but the, um, Toulouse. There's some French here. Um, the one for the card making kit. So I'm really looking forward to that too. Again, I didn't show you, well, the other one was just card toppers, but it always has handmade by, and you can sign it there. And look, I just love this. I do not want to use either one of these cards right here. I'm gonna keep these forever. <laughs> so pretty. Then we have these pieces. Again, you know, just put your little piece on top there. Why is this so close? Am I, that's why. Uh, there, add some of your toppers and things. Let's see here. So cool. Yeah, definitely love the colorway on this. Very soft, you know. Oh, look at this one. Awesome. So the, some of these might be upside down because they are turned back on this part, but there you go. Um, ooh, these are just mattes. Are these vellum? They look interesting. Let's see what this is. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna tuck this back so it doesn't stick to everything. <laughs> Oh yeah, got some vellum in here. This is very nice. Again, I was not paying attention. I just knew I was gonna grab whatever from Anna Griffin, so I just grabbed everything. Look at this. It does have a fungi smell. Ugh. Oh God, it smells like, <laughs> why did I smell it again? It smells like, um, like rancid oil. Okay, like, <laughs> I'm sure it'll air out, you guys, but it does smell a little bit like, oh, not good. Okay, look at that color, so pretty. Oh, I love the colors in this. This is gorgeous. Let me know if her other vellum smells like rancid oil or is it just this? And maybe I should leave it open. <laughs> so it can air out a little bit better. Woo! And these are all gold metallic matte. Love it. Have plenty of that in my stash already. Oh, this comes with inserts? Okay, so she had an insert set and I'm like, eh, I didn't uh, pick those up. But here we go, it does come with inserts. I love, this is so deluxe, so pretty. Okay, guys, um, I think that's all I have for you today. I was trying to think if there's something random that might have shown up or here or there or... Um, I do have a little bit of happy mail, but I like to share those uh, during lives, so I'm going to hold on to that. But yeah, so that's um, it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, again, I didn't get around to Freeform Friday, but it was a busy day. And Miranda's dental days are always like that. It's like there's nothing to do because she is not happy knowing she's going to the dentist, the whole thing, the whole, and then afterwards I gotta take her, you know, to get a little treat for being such a good girl. <laughs> so that takes a while. Say she took a minute to pick out what she wanted. I'm like, girl, okay, you know? And uh, so it just, the day just went by really fast. So anyhow, all right guys, I will see you guys tomorrow for sure. Uh, have a nice night. Sorry, I didn't get to do any videos earlier but you know it's what it is so thanks for watching and i'll have the links for again the car making magazine um on uh scrapbook.com and whenever you go to scrapbook.com don't forget to throw in little free things that they have sometimes they have like freebies and it'll be right on the front or it'll say like click for coupons or um and it's usually like the free magazine or something like that but you know it might be worth adding on if that's something you want to look at. It's usually, it's free, but it depends. Sometimes it'll change the shipping price, so you just want to check that. So if it's worth the, you know, the $2 extra they might charge you in shipping, then get it. If it's not, then don't. <laughs> you know, so you always want to make sure on that part. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.